I've just been dropped off in the centre of Baku and it's 25 past 6 in the morning. Baku time it will be 25 past 2 UK time and um, it's a really impressive city. I don't know whether you can see it but in the background there's the flame towers and everything's sort of in the state of being built but this is the government house just in front of us. And I'm just going to go and meet Donald and Nicky. There's the Eurovision shuttle buses. Okay, it's Sunday and we've arrived in Baku and there is the arena in the background and the flame towers over there and this is Donald. Say hello, hello. Donald. John. Hello. Nikki. Hello. And me, Ben. Hello, and ben. we've arrived safely. And what do we think of it so far? It's a lovely city. I think the welcome has been so <laughs> effusive. Don't egg it over. So kind. Don't over egg it. The smell of oil pervades the whole city. It does, yes. And it's scorching, isn't it? It's lovely. It's very warm today. Um, yeah. Very welcome, as Donald said. So far, so good. I think it's fabulous. Um, the flat is lovely. For thirty pounds a night, you get free Wi-Fi. <laughs> it's very good. Yeah. And despite having very little sleep, I feel very nice. We couldn't have found a better flat, really, could we? No. And the uh, flag pole is in very it's a very good flat. It, it is. And um, we're going in that direction. Here's the biggest flag pole in the world. And we're on the Eurovision shuttle bus. Oh, hello. It's you again. What would you like to know? Is the light oil? We'd like yeah. to know where we're going now. Actually. Oh, we're now heading to where we get the tickets from, from having booked them on Ticketmaster. Oh yeah, but you won't get tickets. Oh, is that on me? Is it on me? It's on you. <laughs> There's a flag behind me. It's the biggest flag in the world. I know. I've pointed that out. Oh, already. sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Did you point out the taxis? Yeah. Oh no, the Eurovision taxis yeah. there. We've just had a fruitless journey to get tickets. Eurovision tickets from the Gulistan Palace, just beneath the flame towers here, and now we're standing overlooking the arena. Oh, it's a beautiful view. Isn't it amazing? And what temperature is it? It's about 80 degrees, isn't it? Oh, 20, yes. 28, 29 Fahrenheit, uh, cat centigrade. Do you say it's as high as 80? Oh, yes, I think so. Pardon? Sure, I'd say high 70s, mate. High, high, high 70s, 70s, maybe, maybe. Very hot, very hot. Yeah. And that's the Caspian Sea in front of us. And that's Baku. Now we're on Nizami Street, which is a bit further down from where we're staying, and it's the end of our first day. And we've spent the first day acclimatising ourselves to Baku. Yeah, and trying to get Eurovision tickets, which we were unsuccessful with. Hopefully that will come tomorrow. And now we're off to Fountain Square. And it's beautiful, the architecture's amazing. Isn't it, Donald? Yeah, what is it? The architecture's amazing. It's incredible. You would, it's like the combination of West versus East. Me meets East, even. Yeah. I said it looked really like Socky Hole Street in Glasgow mm. on a Saturday night. <coughs> the lighting's amazing. This is a fabulous city, fabulous street. For those of you from Scotland, this is what Socky Hall Street would look like if you didn't have to give the money, the oil money, back to those thieving English. <laughs> that was said for Rata's sake, wasn't it? I think we're coming up to Fountain Square, which is the big new square in Baku. And it's absolutely heaving with people. I actually can't see anybody who I would say really stands out like a tourist. We just seem to be, just seem to be loads and loads of Azerbaijani people, but not many people here for Eurovision. 